The quality of water and the lack of dissolved salts is important if you want to grow healthy carnivorous plants. In this video, I'm going to be experimenting as to whether you can improve the quality of tap water by boiling it. My name is Jerry from Suckle and Fly Traps. To conduct this experiment, I'm going to be using a tool called a TDS meter. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Salts. It basically measures the concentrations of dissolved salts that you may find in water. For example, in tap water, you commonly find salts such as phosphates, fluorides and even chlorides. As a general rule, the lower the TDS reading, the better it is for your carnivorous plants. Also, as a general rule, you don't want to go above 50 ppm, which stands for parts per million, and it's the unit of measurement for TDS meters. Of course, you should always aim for going well below that reading of 50 ppm, if at all possible. This tool here is a great way of exploring and confirming various sources of water that you may be thinking of using for your carnivorous plants. For this experiment, I'm going to be boiling some tap water, but before I do, I have to measure the amount of total dissolved salts in the water I'm going to be boiling. So there's the water I'm going to be boiling, or part of it, and I'm going to use, of course, my TDS meter here, which shows zero ppm, and I'll put that in there like that. You can see here that the reading here is 99 going to 100 ppm. Okay, so now I'm going to boil that water that I've just measured. I'll just put a little bit more in there because it needs a bit more to boil up. And now I'm just going to Boil that water up. Okay, so that water's finished boiling. So now I'm just going to allow that water to cool up before I test it out again with the TDS meter. Okay, so I've just poured that boiled water into this bowl. I'm just going to allow that water to evaporate and cool down before I'm going to measure it with the TDS meter. Okay, so now I'm going to take a measurement of that cool down boiled water. I'm just going to put that into the water there. I'm just going to take a reading there. So, oh wow, quite surprised by that. It's 120, it's jumped from the original reading of that water before it was boiled of 100 ppm, now it's jumped to 118 ppm. So I was quite surprised to see the jump in the TDS reading after I'd boiled that water. You know, there's a lot of myths out there regarding boiling water and somehow that after you've boiled it, it's gonna somehow improve the quality. I think there's a lot of people out there, and myself included, they think that that's the case. But this experiment really has proven me wrong. And it really has debunked that myth. And I really had a bit of a think about this as to why that reading went up. I think it's because a lot of that pure water has evaporated uh, as that water cooled down. And in doing so, it left a greater concentration of salts uh, in the water because the volume of that water had decreased. And that's probably the reason why the TDS reading went up. I suppose it's a bit like cooking your favourite pasta sauce. After you let it simmer for a while, the flavour becomes richer. And that, I think, must be because a lot of that water has evaporated, leaving behind a nice, richer, thicker sauce. It's always something new to learn, isn't it? 